Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I will be doing your weekly love reading for November 6th through November 12th. This is for the sign of Aquarius. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. I have to let you know that this may not resonate with you. So if it doesn't, then it wasn't meant for you. It may, but it may not. If it doesn't resonate, then it just wasn't meant for you, okay? So this is for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment longer. And I will zoom this in when I am done. I was going to do a different sign next, but <laughs> several times I just, Aquarius, 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 so you guys were like screaming at me. It's time to do Aquarius. So it's time to do Aquarius. Obviously I can't, I can't logically do another one when I'm being told to do Aquarius. So I have to listen. I'm just going to fix this up a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right, the basis of your reading is the Knight of Swords. I think there's probably something happening very quickly this week. Something is happening quickly. Something um, is moving quite fast. It could be uh, even too, too, um, too fast, okay? I feel like it, many of you are just getting over some kind of loss. Perhaps something not turning out the way you had hoped and maybe you have some fears. I think something probably came to light. Maybe some secret was revealed and it's caused you to either feel rejected or have regrets, okay? And perhaps it's forcing you to make a change and you really don't want to make a change but you're being forced to make a change, okay? And things could just be happening in two Two, there's something, it's going on in my head, but I can't spit it out. Um, it's making you uncomfortable, okay? It is. I think there's some feelings of restlessness, okay? I just feel like things are moving way too fast, and you're just feeling either deceived or lied to, okay? You may be feeling like you're being manipulated, I, many For many of you, you're either leaving a situation or somebody has just left you, okay? And that's just making you feel like, wow, wow. Some of you are feeling used, okay? And it's just like, I cannot even believe this shit. Excuse my language. It just feels like, wow, like things have, have happened very quickly and something like blew your mind, okay? Perhaps somebody wasn't giving their fair share in a relationship. I'm not sure if it, if it was you or the other person. Perhaps somebody was um, overindulging in some way or making making your life unbalanced. There may perhaps there was some chaos or force. You know, there was somebody was trying to force their opinions on you. It just feels like things have are, been out of balance and so maybe perhaps this week for some of you you're going to be walking away from that you're just like you know what I can't, I'm not going to do this anymore and it seems like this is a broken record I'm not sure if I had this reading for you last week but there is something very similar it looks like I don't know if it was for you guys or for somebody else but it feels like there's a commitment that is being tested put it that way um, and somebody is considering walking away if they haven't walked away already, okay? Something is being shaken up. I think that somebody is probably um, very unhappy with the current circumstances, all right? Um, I think there's been some, some kind of... Um, there's like some unknown forces that have become known that have made you feel lied to or used. All right, I'm going to start shuffling for the next poll. It looks like things are definitely happening. There's no lack of action this week. There's not. Okay, things are happening. Um, perhaps some of you are 
thinking about um, closing a door. Okay, maybe you have closed a door. Maybe you've closed the door ab abruptly or somebody's closed the door on you abruptly. Um, I think that you have dreams of a better future. Okay, and perhaps you're, you're going to just take steps and head in that direction. It looks like you're, you're trying to become more stable, and it looks like wherever you've been, you've been manipulated, you've been lied to, okay? Or it's you. Somebody's been lying, and I don't know who that is, but there's definitely some lies here, okay? And somebody has been ignoring it, trying to resist the change or pretending that, that this really hasn't didn't happen, okay? I do see that, you know, there could have been a situation where somebody, you know, somebody, and this is, like I said, this isn't for everybody, but there could have, somebody could have fallen in love with somebody else. And I'm just saying, you know, because that could certainly be the case. And that could certainly be the case. Somebody, I mean, it just reiterated what I was saying. Somebody could have their eyes on somebody else if they haven't actually fallen in love with them. Could be you, could be the other person. I feel like for many of you, there was a new attraction either for your partner or for yourself. And perhaps somebody acted impulsively, okay? And moved in a direction, a different direction very quickly. Or somebody's really wanting to move in a different direction. Perhaps there's, there is there is just too much chaos going on right now. I think that change is on the horizon, perhaps even this week. But I think it's been um, going on for a while. I think this has been in the picture for a while. Perhaps this week somebody's actually going to get the courage to make the change, to do the right thing for themselves, okay, to expand their horizons, okay. Many of you are heading towards a new partner. Now, I don't, this is not for everybody, remember that. Some of, somebody who's watching this is heading towards a new partner. There's going to be a lot of attraction. There's going to be a lot of sexual energy, okay. I just have to tell you that. There is, I mean... I don't know if that's you or your partner, but there's a lot of passion here, okay? So I think many of you are heading um, in the direction of something new, okay? That leads to something passionate, okay? Whereas you have to leave something behind to get there. And for many of you, there was a third-party situation. Now, I don't know if it's you or your partner, but for many of you, there was a third-party situation where somebody acted impulsively and you have to use your your strength and your um, courage and your confidence to head in a different direction. You might even have to forgive, okay? I feel like there was some heartbreak. There's some kind of um, loss, okay? Which really leaves you out of balance, okay? And I think that you're going to have to um, forgive, all right? I do see some regrets. I think there's some regrets or some rejection, either one. Like I said, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. I think many of you are just closing a door, closing a door to something that hurt, okay? And your pride may have been hurt in the process, all right? Many of you, your pride has been hurt and you've there's been a hasty departure. Either you or the other person, something has happened and it was very disappointing. Okay? So this week, I think there is some definitely some challenges. Okay? I think that there could be some conflicts. There could be, there's definitely some fast moving energy. I think maybe some secret could come out. Could be regarding a partner or yourself. I think a secret could come out. Okay, that could bring some chaos to your life. It could cause somebody to move on, either you or your partner, just to walk away from the situation completely. Okay, I think that somebody had acted on their desires impulsively. 
Don't know if it was you or the other person, but I think that somebody did. And somebody else's pride was hurt in the ego, in the, or in ego, pride and ego were hurt in the process, okay? And somebody definitely has a broken heart because of it, all right? But you got to look at it this way. When something like that happens, there's always a chance for a rebirth, for a renewal, for a new growth, for a new partner, for something new to begin. So if some of you are going through some heartbreak, if you are going through somebody, you know, hurting you or hurting your pride or lying to you or leaving you hastily, just remember that there are new possibilities in the future because I do see some new growth for you, okay? Amid, amidst the turmoil, there is, it is a time of rebirth. Everything happens for, the, for a reason. When the temperance card comes out, it means everything happens for a reason, okay? Realize that things change continuously. It's about blending. It's a time of renewal, that's what it is. So let go of the old. All right? I'm going to get you one of the Archangel Michael cards. I really feel like many of you, it is time for you to keep moving in the direction that you need to go. Don't delay. Do not delay. It's time to bring the balance back to your life and look at it from a different perspective. Look at it as a period of excitement, okay? Don't cry over it anymore. Try not to cry over it anymore. It really is a blessing in disguise. It really is. Whoever it was wasn't being honest. They weren't. We have a Leo here. We have a Sagittarius here. We have uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm just looking at who else we have. Um, we have Pisces. We have Capricorn again. I'm just looking. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And you are right in the center of this reading. So I, I really feel like um, something has happened. And it happened very quickly that threw you off balance, threw you off kilter, okay? It could have been a third-party situation for many of you. Ooh, there it is. I'm going to zoom that in. Archangel Michael card. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. My prayer, Archangel Michael, thank you, or thank you for assisting me with this situation. Please help me be filled, filled with faith and peace at all times. I'm going to reread that. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with this situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. I can see that things are happening too fast. It's bringing chaos. Perhaps somebody's moving out of your life or you're leaving something behind that you were emotionally connected to and it probably hurts. Okay? Ask the angels for help. All right? And look at it from a different perspective. Look at it as a new, exciting opportunity for new growth. Okay? That's what I have, Aquarius. November 6th through November 12th. And again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Somebody has been taking my videos. So if this is under anybody else's um, channel, just know that it is not mine. Talk to you later.